but hey you guys it's me and my new year back with another video and this is how i'm showing you guys how i personally trim my hair at home um if you do not really trust yourself as far as trimming your hair at home you know don't do that but this is just me i've been able to save a lot of money um sometimes my hair might end up lopsided but hey you know you live and you learn so basically i just do this um when it's time I, the last time i trimmed my hair is when i actually cut my hair so that was about six months ago so my hair is well overdue for a trim so you will know that it's time for a trim when your ends become a little dry, rough, ragged, and are a little bit see-through-y. So I'm just going in section by section and I'm taking my comb and I'm going to just make sure that I detangle my hair thoroughly and as you can see a little bit of my ends are see-through-y. And if you do need a little bit of help um, determining if it's time for a trim, you can just take a white sheet of paper and as you all can see where it's like it's a solid color and then the rest of it is kind of see-through, it's, it's definitely time for a trim. So I'm just going to make sure I'm going to take my comb. And make sure that you are using hair um, shears. I purchased mine from my local beauty supply store, but don't you don't want to use um, any just old regular scissors. You want to use hair shears. So yeah, this is basically how I trim my hair, and this um, will be pretty self-explanatory. Um, yeah, you just want to make sure that you are, you know, a lot of people it takes it's kind of hard for them to trim their hair, or you know, have the you know need or urgency to trim their hair because they think that they're not. Um, the hair isn't going to be long anymore and you know things like that But you just have to make sure that if you want to retain length um, It's good to trim your hair. I don't like I said I, I mentioned I make sure that I keep the um, ends of my hair quite moisturized So therefore my ends don't tend to get as rough rugged and dry Because I do make sure that I keep my hair deep conditioned as well as moisturized However, if it's time for a trim your hair is not going to grow because your hair is going to continue to split up the shaft Which is going to basically make sure make you you know in need of a larger haircut so if you see split ends and it's you know it's time for a trim just let it go it will grow back and if you do you know trim I'm not saying go and get your hair trimmed every two weeks um not even every month just do it on a need to trim basis so yeah basically I will just be trimming my hair like I said um and I just I want to say I trimmed about an inch off so that's pretty much it the rest of this video will be pretty self-explanatory however if you do have any questions pertaining to trimming at home just please be sure to leave them in the comments and I'll definitely be sure to get back to you thank you all so much for watching and I hope you enjoy the rest of the video Alrighty, so as you all can see, I trimmed about an inch off of my hair, and this is pretty much it. Um, yeah, I made sure that, like I said, I mentioned I trim my hair on a need to trim basis, but this is pretty much in it. Um, yeah, so thank you all so much for watching. If you do have any questions, please be sure to leave them in the comments below. Thank you all again, and I'll see you all in the next one.